Samsung finally respond to Apple. What's up guys, so we have a huge surprise. The Ultra flagship that no one expected is coming and no, I'm not talking about the Note 21 Ultra. For the first time, Samsung is bringing the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. It's going to be the largest tablet out there with the absolute thinnest bezels. So we have this massive leak coming out of South Korea and there's actually three models of the Tab S8 lineup. We get the base Tab S8 model, Tab S8 Plus, and the Tab S8 Ultra. All of them have 120Hz refresh rate display Display, but you can see some differences when it comes to the screen size. It goes from 11 inch on the base model to 12.4 inch and then all the way up to 14.6 inch on the ultra model. That is absolutely humongous. All of them have full support for 45 watt fast charging. We've got 8 megapixel selfie sensor for the Tab S8 and the S8 Plus but the ultra is getting the extra 5 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Samsung could bring a similar feature as center stage that we've seen on the latest iPad. Now all of them will Sport Android 11 with the latest One UI and you get the S Pen and quad speakers tuned by AKG so you get the best sound. And finally, the next generation processor. This is very likely the Snapdragon 888 Plus that Qualcomm is working on that we'll be seeing on many Android devices in the second half of 2021. It will be similar to Snapdragon 888 when it comes to the CPU performance but it could have a overclocked GPU performance. Overall, I would have loved to see the AMD GPU, but of course, this is something that Samsung is saving for the upcoming Galaxy S22 family. So yeah, this is the answer to Apple's iPad Pro with the M1 chip. Of course, Samsung will not be able to challenge the M1 dominance. The iPad Pro is still the fastest tablet on the planet, but it still is running on the iPad OS, which means you can't really take advantage of all that power unless they bring Mac OS in the future. So for now, things are pretty even and Samsung will do just fine with their Snapdragon 888 Plus chip and you gotta respect Samsung for this because they're the only company in the Android world who's still putting up a fight versus Apple's ultimate dominance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also in the news, if you are looking for a tablet that can transform into like a phone form factor, then of course the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is in the works. We've got full camera details leaked via Twitter Leakster and the most interesting camera sensor here is of course that 16 megapixel under display camera that will be present on the main display. I'm very eager to see the selfie performance of this camera because this will give us an idea of what to expect on the upcoming S22 Ultra. Now speaking of Galaxy Z Fold 3, Samsung actually filed a brand new patent that shows off a Fold phone with pressure sensitive keys. This is something that Samsung can plan for the next Fold 4, but as of now, as we have seen in the leaks already, that Fold 3 is coming with proper keys. So that's all the latest news. The best Android tablet in the world is coming and it's gonna hold up pretty well against the iPad Pro. Let me know your thoughts about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. What do you think about the design? Uh, like I said, it has dual cameras, so there is a slight bit of a notch look, but the display is going to be absolutely huge and it's said to be the tablet with the thinnest bezels on the planet. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.